Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So today's video will be a very interesting video because I am going to compare two amazing rendering softwares. And being an avid user of Lumion, I'm actually not that disappointed to say that the time of Lumion is over. Now, Twin Motion is overtaking Lumion. And in this video, I'll show you some really cool features in Twin Motion that will be very much helpful for all the architects out there. And I will show you some uh, basic concepts of rendering that I use to make my renders look like this, as you can see on your screen. So guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, as a middle class architect, I would like to say the most important point of Twin Motion is it's free. Yes, if you get an educational license on Twin Motion, it is totally free for you. All the features are unlocked. You can download all the HDRI skies and all those materials that are there for free. So Twin Motion has an upper edge on Lumion from the beginning itself. Now coming to the more uh, detailed features. So the first thing that I liked about um, Twin Motion is that it has a very good uh, project browser or like every element of your project is segregated separately. You can turn on and off all the layers. You can arrange all the elements in your model in a very systematic way. And guys, I'm telling you, this is a game changer for me at least because I work with a lot of elements in a model and I need to segregate them according to my uh, filing structure. So that is a very important thing and very amazing thing about Twinmotion. Now coming to the other point, the material, the depth, the bump maps and all these things are really, really good in Twinmotion. Like um, Lumion is doing a great job. You have really good customization option, but in fact, Twinmotion has uh, come up with their own sets of material and own sets of settings, which you can see on your screen right now, in which you can, uh, again, like uh, Lumion, you can tune your materials based on what kind of maps you want to put in. So this thing is available in 2023 version of Twinmotion. If you're using anything older than that, they didn't have it. But Lumion has a good material control. I would say I have been using Lumion for a very long time now. So Twin Motion is pretty good with the material. Next, coming to the ray tracing. Uh, now Lumion has started uh, like the ray tracing thing, but the ray tracing and the rendering engine in Twin Motion is really good. The final output that Twin Motion produces is like kind of like 3ds max and v-ray so you can just understand it, what kind of detailing i am talking about now coming to the hdri skies uh, so as we know twin twin motion sorry uh, i'm saying lumion has really amazing skies really amazing environment so still twin motion has a lot to catch up to that but uh, the HDRI sky and the HDRI maps, the globe that comes in, it's really good in Twin Motion as well. So they are not that far behind, but they are pretty close and pretty good with that as well. And the next thing is their high definition maps, the Quixel mega scans. So all the elements in this portion of your uh, tool palette you will find a lot of elements that have very high details that have really really amazing mega scanned materials onto them they are actually not that heavy as well so you can use them and make your scene looks look like really really amazing now next point is decals they have really amazing decal as well obviously twin motion and lumion both have decals but Twin Motion is also catching up with decals. For now, they have very limited variants, but I think so in future, they will be coming up with more variants in decals. Now, the next point is uh, linking it with Revit. So as I have started my career in BIM, now uh, I am using Twin Motion and Revit all together. 
Now you can link Twinmotion directly to Revit through Datasmith and you can keep upgrading your model, which you can again do it with Lumion as well. But I wanted to highlight this uh, factor as well. Uh, so I'm not demoting this Lumion over here, but still Twinmotion is catching up. Now coming to one more point. Uh, in So in Twinmotion, you can create 360 panoramic views and you can create a set of panoramic view, then upload it on Twinmotion Cloud where it links all the view together and you can, and it will actually generate a QR code for you so that you can scan and it will be on your browser. So you don't have to carry the model and software anywhere. So you just have to scan that QR code and your panoramic view will be visible on any device, any laptop or any cell phone device. And you can just show your clients your entire presentation just by going on a website. That's it. And this is a very amazing factor. And I think so uh, Lumio lacks a lot in collaboration. They are not collaborating with softwares as much as they should be doing. So this is one my one of my complaints about uh, Lumion. Plus, it's very expensive as well. So these are few of my comments and complaints to Lumion that please improvise that. And um, yep, Twinmotion does require a very high end graphic card as well, like Lumion. But Lumion goes like way over the top. Like Twinmotion can still run with 3060 graphic card and pretty well, and like you know produce a decent output. But uh, Lumi on the latest variants would be struggling with 3060, I would say. Like you would be getting a very uh, base level kind of performance. So this is also one thing. Uh, twin motion, you can apply materials to specific objects. Unlike Lumion, Lumion, what we have to do, we have to make every object separate. So we can't do that uh, materials changes and all those things in Lumion itself. But in Twinmotion, you have the option to apply a material to a specific or a selected object. So this is one of the factor that I like about Twinmotion plus the control over the objects. Oh my God. So while placing all the elements in Lumion specifically, we always struggle to balance it, to turn it, to rotate it, to level it properly. But in twin motion, it auto detects it. So it auto detects the terrain of your model or the height or the floor slab of your model and just takes on it. So it's like very easy to place a lot of elements like street lights, lamp posts, uh, garden lamps, rocks, plants, trees, all these things are very easy to place in Twinmotion. Now coming to the other part where you have the ability to scale and transform the object. Um, actually, I want this thing to be in Lumion because a lot of time we just need some elements and we can just, you know, uh, tweak it a little bit. We don't have to go all the way in SketchUp or Revit, download some model place it over there and have to bring it back. But in Twinmotion, you can just tweak it a little bit. You can just shrink the size. You can just flatten it. There are some objects that are called primitive objects. You can actually use those objects as a filler element sometimes. Like if you do, if you are into rendering, you know, sometimes, you know, model has small errors or like we forget to join the wall all the way through. Sometimes we think, we think that all the connections are proper, all the materials are there, but sometimes we feel like, oh, uh, we need to change this wall color or wall material. So what you can do is there are these primitive objects. You just have to bring it in. You can actually scale it, resize it based on your preference and your comfort. And um, overall rendering quality is pretty good. Uh, I would say, if not better, then on par with Lumion. So guys, this is it. I think so. The time for Lumion is almost over. Everyone that I know are switching on Twinmotion. They are exploring Twinmotion or Unreal Engine. So 
I would request all of you to go ahead, check it out, try your uh, skills on it. If you want any kind of help or any kind of tutorials, go ahead, mention it in the comment section. I will definitely try to help you guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would request all of you to please subscribe to my channel because your support is the only thing that keeps me going for now. Um, if you think that I'm earning a lot or something with YouTube, it's not. And actually doing this, taking this time out just for all of you. So guys, this was it. Go ahead, hit a like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.